click play to begin. You can play this Block Souls game inside of the Block Souls app if you have it downloaded on your tablet or iPad by simply going to the arcade and typing in the game ID. You can also type in the game URL. On the Global Studies website this week, you will see that there is a link to take you directly to this game. Once you are here, click play. Once you begin the game, you will look for the little speech bubbles. The flag of the Amazic people has three equal triangle rectangles. The blue stands for the groups near water, the yellow is for the Berbers of the desert, and the green is for those living in the mountain, Atlas Mountains. The red symbol means freedom in their language. As you continue on your journey, you will collect coins, a secret key, and you will try to avoid all enemies. Use the forward and backwards arrows to walk and use the up arrow to jump. Here comes another sign. Let's read it. Choose your character. You can play as Zidane, it means delighted in Berber, or Lala, it means lady, and it's used to show respect. Once you pick your character, you will not be able to go back and change your mind. So once I am Zidane, I can then jump and change into Lala. There's no going back though. Welcome to Morocco. We are the Amazic people. We were the first people in to live in the northern part of Africa. Some people call us Berbers. Did you know that this word was first used a few centuries ago? And it comes from the Greek word for barbarian. Oddly enough, it was never meant to offend anyone. It was actually just a way to tell people that they did not speak Greek. Oh, here's another. There are new keys in Bloxels. If you see one, pick it up. This will help you unlock the secret doors later. There it is. It is now up underneath of my coin bank. Hmm, I haven't found any coins yet. All right, let's keep going on our journey. Ooh, that's a tight squeeze. Okay, here we go. Hmm, today we like to call ourselves Amazic. This means free men or noble people. Many of us live in nomadic life and move from location to location, but some of us live high in the Atlas Mountains. Keep traveling and you will soon come to an Amazic house. They're easy to spot because of their size and color. Oh, there's another one up high. The Turug, a group of Berbers, is sometimes called the blue people because of the indigo color of cloth that traditional robes and turbans would stain their skin dark blue. The turban is still preferred for celebrations, but they typically wear a variety of colors now. Let's see. Oh, here's another. The Berbers of the Atlas Mountains built villages that looked like forts. The outside was made of adobe, covered by branches and clay. They had three to four levels and few windows. This was to keep the hot, them safe from the hot summer weather. Hmm. The Berbers of the mountains were known for their smart terrace farming. They created ways to get water to their crops. They grew mostly wheat, barley, rye, and corn. Oh, look, there's some, oh, coins. So you wanna collect the chickens. The Amazic houses are usually built into the mountains to protect them, and they are just large enough for the Amazic women to look out of the windows. These windows also help uh, with the summer heat. Lots of livestock ahead. Be sure to capture all of the chickens and goats and other livestock. Oh, my key just unlocked a secret door. Okay, here we go. Ooh, I collected a lot of barley. Ooh, a secret door. All right, some more chickens. It's time to go shopping. Stop at each booth at the souk. You never know which items you will collect will be coins. Collect all 68 by the end of the game, but be careful because some things are dangerous to touch and will affect your health. The Amazic people are very self-reliant. Uh, the men usually watch the livestock while the woman made handicrafts. So you're going to find these things inside of the souk once you visit. Okay. Oh, I see some goats. Let's get the goats. There we go. There we go. Some more. Oh, chickens. Wow, there's so many livestock here. Okay, I think I got every one of them. All right, let's go shopping. So, welcome to the souk. Oh no, 
The rug looks like it's an enemy. Oh, but there's some that are good and they give you coins. Oh, Tajin. Oh, there's a lantern. Oh, there's a good lantern. Here's some spices. Oh, oh no, shoes. <laughs> looks like the gold ones are good luck. Oh, some more animals. Looks like chickens. Oh my goodness. Oh, the tea kettle's got me. Now, if this happens to you, you can start over just like I did. It's not a big deal. Um, but when you get to the end of the game, there is a flag just like Mario. And you will jump up and you will get congratulations that you have won the game. Hope you have fun.